Keith Grinke here from Top of Me News with you know, the king of Canadian referees here of mixed martial arts, Eves Levine. Uh, thanks for your time today, Eves. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you've rep there are probably hundreds of UFC bouts, you know, maybe thousands of uh, MMA bouts, eh? No, nah, I don't know. Yeah? Lost no, count? After a while, you stop counting, basically. Do you remember the first UFC bout? UFC 58, Vegas, it was, um, yeah, I do remember, two heavyweights, because uh, Christophe Midou got injured right the night before, so it was uh, Icho Lyranas against another gentleman, and it was the first fight of the night. So were you part of that card because it was the, the US versus that Canada the, card, and so you got a Canadian rep? Yeah, that was the only reason why the, uh, Mr. Ratner had me over there. Well, that's, that's awesome. So, you know, you're a big part of you know mixed martial arts, the beginning of mixed martial arts in Canada and, and, and Quebec, of course. Mm. You know what? Uh, you know what got you involved with mixed martial arts? You know, discuss you know your your, your love for the sport. Oh, I at UFC one, I saw it on TV. Just fell in love with, with the sports, and I was working for the athletic commission at that time, and uh, with a friend, and I was telling my commissioner. It's gonna come, it's gonna come. You know, one day we're gonna have that in Quebec, get prepared, and uh, he didn't really believe me, but uh, hey, he had to. <laughs> because he did came to Quebec. So, you know, you, how did you get involved being a referee though? Like, so, you know, you're watching UFC 1 and you say like, you know what, I wanna be a ref, or did you wanna be a participant, or? No, I was too old at that time. You know, I was doing a lot of the karate tournament, but uh, I didn't retire for, uh, from tournament. Um, basically, <laughs> I was involved to, uh, with the commissioner to legalize the sports in Quebec. And after that, uh, they all look at me and say, hey, we need a ref. And I was already refing in boxing and kickboxing. So that's why they, I said, okay, I'll be a ref. Be a ref, all right. So we're here in Winnipeg today. Um, you know, what brings you to uh, this town? Uh, you know, the UFC 161 is weeks away. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you doing here now? Um, we're going to have a talk with Tony Inspector, and we, I'm going to basically share my experience that I had in, with all the Inspector before, you know, the UFC comes here. Oh, see, so all the so, ins and outs of uh, the back room mm -hmm. stuff. Okay. Yep. So, you know, I know you've been you know, deeply involved with sanctioning and uh, oh, you know, yeah. we're, right now we're in a big sanctioning time for MMA with uh, you know, Section 83, uh, Bill S-209. Um, mm -hmm. you know, what are your thoughts on this? Oh, 209 is going to create a lot of problems for a lot of provinces. Basically, it's going to shovel back to the province uh, a lot of uh, thinking about combat sport. So I don't think it's going to solve. But I think it's going to create other problems that's going to be you're going to have to address at one point in time. So can you expand on what type of problems you think provinces are going to have? I'll give you one that we're going to have in Quebec, like karate. Uh, it's not because you got a federation. Um, let's say that in Quebec we got a, a federation of karate who represent about five to five thousand people. However, they have about fifty thousand people practicing karate, so they're not really representing all the people doing karate, but. The province is going to have to decide if first they're going to accept fighting in karate and which way they're going to you know, regulate that sport and how they're going to supervise all this. So it's going to create a lot of problems with the amateur part. So you know, that was never sanctioned before the nope. last 209, so isn't it just the same problem that's always existed? Not really. Now it, it's, you cannot hide behind 89, uh, 83. You're going to have to address all the sports, and it's going to be in the province. Okay. So, you know, you, you talked about Quebec MMA, and, and you're, you're a big part of that, and the beginnings of Quebec MMA. Um, you know, what are your thoughts on, on what's going on there now? We see, you know, weigh-in scandals at UFCs. We see, you know, two-on-one kind of boxing matches happening. Um, you know, lots of different things. Uh, what are you, you guys were pioneers of the sport at one time. Yeah, we were the first one, you know, to legalize the sports in North America in MMA. I think, you know, Athletic Commission make mistakes sometimes and they have to address it and get better. <laughs> Simple as that? Yep. All right. So, you know, no, basically you make mistake, learn from your mistake, readjust and evolve. So is amateur MMA really legal? Like we see a lot of. No, it was not. Yeah, it's just completely illegal in, in Quebec. It, it's not really illegal. We had a past minister of justice who said uh, in the chamber in Quebec that uh, it's 
it's a gray area. It's not legal, it's not really illegal. They're gonna have to address it. Yeah. Because as it is, I think it is not safe. And, and how about Quebec MMA promotions in general? At one time, you were probably the second, you know, you had TKO and that, you're the second biggest promotion in the world. And now it's kind of dried up a little bit. Any thoughts on that and why? I think, you know, in Quebec, we had a war between promoters and some promoter was signing a lot of athletes for and prevent them to go and fight for other promotion and I think we had at one point too many promoters for the, you know the pool of fighter that we have. Yeah you know and if we can talk now maybe about the unified rules we got a you know the set of rules that govern our great sport you know what are, you, what are your thoughts on them do you think that it does a good job or you think there's any changes modifications the unified rules? Well the unified rules are not really unified at the ABC conference they give you a guideline they call it unified rule however you have to apply that into your provinces after that it's the same as the speed limit you have different speed limit depending where you are but it's still a car it's still a road it's still the same you know environment however it's different rule applied to different states so the unified rule are just a guideline and it's not unified all across the United States or Canada how difficult is that to apply as a ref? You know, uh, if I'm refing hockey, you know, an offside is an offside is an offside. Mm -hmm. um, you know, how difficult is it to, for you to be in, you know, Winnipeg with different rules than you maybe have in New Jersey, you, which are different than California? You have to talk with the commissioner and be sure that you're sharp and you know those rules. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, I'd like to thank you for your time. You know, you've. I mean, sure, every ref's made a few bad calls, I but you made, made a lot. <laughs> you made a. Me. A ton of great calls, and, and unfortunately, it's a profession which you know doesn't get much recognition at all. But you know, on behalf of Canadians and Canadian MMA fans, I'd like to thank you, you know, for being a real leader, you know, for Canada out there. And oh, you may not get the respect and the recognition you deserve, but you know, Eves, I'd like to thank you uh, for for all you've done for our sport. Hey, my pleasure.